Hello, welcome back to Houston. Evidently, I have no idea what I'm doing. I got rid of Dubois, who had the best fit, which, I mean, I kind of understand now, based on that stuff at the right. So I think the, you know, green check mark probably means good. <laughs> Maybe should have paid attention to that. So, like, Robert Thomas, not super fitting. But anyway, uh, what's done is done. And I guess I see why this line gets a plus two because of all of that, uh, all that green, shall we call it. And then here, there's not, there's no red, you know, so maybe that's why they get the plus one. The yellows or dashes kind of offset. Regardless, yeah, um, whoops, that's, that's, uh, that's what I'm going to say. I already get roasted by my friend pretty much all the time. You know what? If that's still plus two, he's up to 85, two way forward. And two-way forward, hmm. What are your offensive categories like? Four-star shooting, four-star skating. All right, what about Rust? Four-star, four-star, hmm. Rust has better senses, though. It seems like Palmieri is better defensively, so you know what? I'll leave him there for now. But, uh, yeah, we are... We're here, we're live. Round one of the playoffs. And that that's why they're a plus one, because of the no-red stuff, I suppose. Yeah, okay. All right, but why are they not plus five then? Like, how do you get a plus five? Is that X-Factor crap that gets you plus five? Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> I think I'm making some progress here. And also, apparently, I might have stunted slash locked DiPietro by giving him a low contract, which I think is really stupid. Why would he ask for a low contract then, and why would he accept it? So, yeah, if that is a game mechanic, then I would like to point out that I simply do not agree. But also... Whoops, yet again. All right, so we have the Golden Knights here, round one. They did better than us, plain and simple. They finished 8-2-0. We finished 6-3-1 and in both of our last 10 games, respectively. And let's go ahead and view the lines for the Golden Knights. They got Patches, Eichel, and Dadanov. Nice. And then they got Stephenson with Marcheseau and Stone. That second line is just brutal. Like, holy crap. That's scary. We can't compete with that. Then they got Roy, Carlson, and Smith, and their fourth line, Carrier, Johansson, and Patrick. On defense, they got Theodore. Wow, this is a good team. Yeah, pretty pretty solid team. Petrangelo and Theodore, Martinez with Subban, Coughlin, and Carrick. And in net, they got Leonard and Brassois. Pretty much the exact same goaltender situation as us. 87 starter, 83 backup, except Leonard has abilities, and I'm pretty confident that Campbell does not. I'm actually going to double check, but I'm pretty sure he does not. And wrong one. Goalies, no. No abilities there for Jackie Boy. Well, let's get to it. Let's get this over with. We're probably going to get first rounded because they are simply the better team. And I'm not going to try to be... Mo you know what? I am going to be motivational. Let's go, Houston, all right? Everyone is looking down on you right now. Fire the boys up. You guys can do this. So here we go. Game one of round one. Simulate. Let us turn up that simulation speed. And let us root for the Houston Hammerheads. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing I kind of do in Be a Pro. I'm going to do like a first period. Okay. All right. I'll take nil-nil. Second period. Okay. Well then. Let's do a... Ooh, Trocek. Let's go. Up one nothing. They are definitely out shooting us though by quite a bit. Yeah, we are getting outshot big time. Dadanov puts one in and ties it up. And we are now halfway through period Number three, five minutes to go. Game is tied on the scoreboard, but not in the shot category. We gave them a power play, but they were not able to capitalize. Still 1-1, and honestly, you can't ask Jack for any more. He has played himself a game and a half here, and we win! We win at the hands of Jack Campbell. That is 100% Jack Campbell's win. Big goal for Zach Sanford, and a 2-1 to -one victory for the Houston Hammerheads in game one. Look at Jack go. What a legend. Even Leonard got on the three stars, but Jack definitely deserves that first star. You beauty. Okay. On that note, let's sim up to the next game. Yes, please. And let's simulate it. Once again, first period. All right. Good start. Second period. Okay. Very reminiscent of the last game where it is tied heading into period number three. But now the question is, who, if anyone, is going to score the first goal in the third period? Power plays going back and forth. Trading. That's a long power play. What the heck did you guys do? 
Who got that like eight minute penalty? All right, Pacioretty puts them up by two, and it looks like that's going to do it. And the Golden Knights take game number two. Okay, so we have a best of five series now. There you go. There's the three stars. And we are, yeah, we're tied in the series. This is a little bit scary, but you know what? We can do this. We can and we will. Let's simulate game and first period. Oh, boy. All right. Second period. Okay. Yeah. Let's just do it. Here we go. This is game three, period three. All right. I'm just simming the rest of the period. Screw that. Yeah. Not sitting through that. We just got dummied. Okay. Jack Eichel with two goals and an apple. Marge so and Theodore doing all right themselves. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. It's only 2-1 in the series. I really wish I turned off morale changes. Or morale... <laughs> Morale in general. I don't know what's going on. My brain is just not working. First period. All right, I'll take that. Second period. Oh, my word. Okay, well, they are the better team. Yeah, and I'm just going to sim the period. Okay, okay. Two back-to-back -back goals. And just like that, we are on the brink of elimination. Rust with one goal. Gets the third star. Marches so, having himself a series and a half. Wow. All right, well, we are on the brink of elimination. So you know what? You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to edit lines, and I'm going to let coach do what he does best. Boom. There you go. This is what the coach prefers, apparently. Let's see if it gets us anywhere. Palmieri's back down to 84. Wow. All right. Well, anyway, let's do this thing. Let's go to game number... What is this now? Game number five? And let's simulate it. We can be deleted here. I mean, I'm happy that we even made it to the playoffs, so I'm not going to be super upset. But anyway, first period. All right. Okay. Second. Oh, okay. That's huge. Let's continue here. 3-3 three, three in the third. And we're giving them another power play. We need some more. What is with these long? What are we doing out there? Honestly, is there a way to go see who is taking these long penalties and what they are doing? To receive it. Yes. Hey, let's go. Come on. Come on. Are we going to win? Oh, you're joking. You're joking. Smith with a buzzer beater. Going to tie it up. 4-4 four, four, heading into overtime now. Shots are pretty even this time around. But man, that was a killer. I thought we had it in the bag. I got a little, little ahead of myself there. And Smith made me pay. Power play. Can't capitalize. And we're winding down here in the first overtime period. Will another clutch goal come? No, it will not. Here we go. Overtime two. Who won? Who won? No! I call no! Oh, man. All right. We're out. We are out. I sort of saw that coming. But, yeah, that's it's still, still sad. Still sad nonetheless. All right. Sim to the drafts. My favorite time. Time to get roasted again. For my lack of franchise abilities, even though I <laughs> never play this mode. All right, let's uh, let's sim up. Let's go check out the trophies as well. Find out who wins the Stanley Cup. Montreal Canadiens. Good for you. Okay, nice. And that should bring us to the end of the simulation, at least very soon. Where is, oh, I guess, did we finish good enough to not even be on this list? Oh, yeah, we did, actually. So there you go. Arizona winning the draft lottery. An absolute steal from 7-1. to one. They are gassed. All right. And I guess we can view the retired players. Why not? Doesn't hurt. Jumbo Joe retiring at the young age of 43. Same with Marlowe. Stahl, 38. Corey Perry. There you go. Chara, 46. Atta boy. Yeah, this is the uh, retirement class. What about goalies? Schneider. Uh, Kari Ramo. I kind of remember him. Same with Enroth and Glass. I've heard that name before as well. So there we have it. Boom. Jumbo Joe. Should we hire him as a, as a coach? Should we do it? I think we have to. Well, it is entry draft time. And I am going to view the draft class. How do I do that? It's got to be around here somewhere. View draft class. I was overlooking it. Connor Bedard. Do we try to trade up for Connor Bedard? Get that first overall pick. And bring this man's in. I'm kind of tempted. I won't lie to you. I am pretty tempted. He's definitely medium franchise. 
Okay, nice. He's NHL ready. And oh my word, that is that is game changing. And then this guy, yeah, he seems to definitely have some abilities as well. Okay, well, quite the draft class here. We could move up for Bedard. I'm sort of actually tempted, but that pick is not going to come easy unless they actually want to get rid of it, which also not going to happen. So, hmm, what to do, what to do. Well, I guess the least we could do is try. You know, we could try it out, see what happens, make some big moves. People like big trades. And if we get Bedard, he's already NHL ready. Ah, oh, man. Let's, let's just jump in. All right, here we go. We're starting up the draft, and we have the Arizona Coyotes. Do you want to give up your pick? They do not. Actually, it doesn't have that much trade value. I thought it was going to have a lot more. Draft picks. We can give up our first, which they want. Wow, never mind. It's worth a lot. <laughs> uh, all skaters. Actually, let's go to skaters matching the block. So Klingberg is definitely down, but he's on a good contract. Five years at 5.7, 87 overall. Are you kidding me? Sergachev, we have this Kavanov guy who's on the climb. We have a pretty good defensive core overall. So you know what? Like, we probably could get rid of Klingberg. I'm probably going to get roasted. Uh, they're going to have more skaters in the org. So I could pick up Kiefer Shearwood. Yeah, this trade will not go through. I'm almost sure of it. But I am going to try. Trade rejected. Okay. Well, it's worth a shot. And if we are getting this guy who has, you know... An X factor and all these abilities and stuff. Let's give up a next year second. If this doesn't go through, I'm just going to give up. I don't want to give up too much. Trade rejected. Not even close. All right. So they can have Bedard. Screw it. There you go. And sim pick. Medium franchise Connor Bedard. There he is. There he is. We know that the second pick as well had some abilities that were basically guaranteed. And he's also NHL ready. Yeah. So at least three abilities. Hmm, what about the next pick? Uh, not much on this guy at all. And, oh! Alright, Lundqvist has an X-Factor. Oh my goodness, there's actually quite a bit here. Okay, so, not all of them are guaranteed, that's for sure. Like, this guy, probably not gonna have any of those. And this guy, guaranteed. <laughs> Zachary Benson. Huh. Well then. So there's definitely, you know what? Like, do any, if anyone wants to get rid of their pick, then we could definitely get an X-Factor player here. But, um, all right. They don't want to trade. I doubt anyone's really going to want to trade it. But let's sim pick. So they picked him up. 84 overall. Jeez, that is wild. All right. So it was a very strong draft class this year. They can afford the cap. What if I give you him and our next year's second? That's not going to go through, but, you know, I'm going to try it out. Oh! All right. <laughs> um, well, now the question becomes, who? Who do I pick? Is it... Oh, but it's defenseman. I didn't even notice that. All right, well, a defenseman with, like, a guaranteed X factor. And he is NHL ready. Another NHL ready player here with an X factor and three abilities. Oh, man, there's a lot to pick from here. A right winger, Ludwig, Zabinijad, NHL ready. Oh, no. I'm going <laughs> to, no matter who I pick, I feel like I'm going to end up regretting it. But I feel like it's definitely between these two right here. And this guy has more abilities that are essentially guaranteed. He's a right winger, similar style to Phil Kessel. Takes winning seriously, has incredible drive to win. Loyalty is a concern. He's basically guaranteed to be medium elite as well. And so is this guy. Should I pick up another defenseman for the defenseman we just lost? Or should I add... I'm going to get Zabenijad, I think. They're recommending these two guys. But you know what? Oh, I could have probably dropped to another pick. But uh, it is what it is. All right, Zabenijad, welcome to the team. Uh, I just cleared up some cap for us as well, which I know we have some salary... That can, in fact, be used for some upcoming players. Klingberg was probably not the best player to get rid of, but I'm over it at this point. We just got a sick player, and let's see if we can find anyone else with uh, some X-Factors. Let me do some scouting here, and I'll get back to you guys. So I see Tuomo Granlund, who is very likely to at least have the one ability of Big Tipper. 
but he is three years away from being NHL ready, and he's very likely low elite. Um, he's a, uh, well, that's not necessarily true. He's probably a grinder, but you know what? Uh, I'm going to take Tuomo Granlin anyway. Let's see. Does he have an ability? Probably not. He's a center power forward. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No way. Let's go. Let us absolutely proceed. Fire me vertical. Fire me north. Fire me in any direction at this point. I don't even care anymore. All right. I am... Slowly starting to feel better about getting rid of Klingberg. Okay, I'm gonna... Just give me a second here. Let me do some scouting and I will get back to you guys with the pick. Another centerman here that's likely to have the quick pick ability. He's five years away from being NHL ready though. Um, which is unfortunate. Another centerman. But I'm willing to risk it for that ability. That he may or may not have. So... Let's go for the Fantastic Finn here and pick him up. Does he have the ability... No, he does not. Okay, and low top six. But you know what? Uh, that's that's not so bad considering. I mean, it is round two, but this was clearly a very front-heavy draft. Let's see him to our next pick. Round three. Uh, wow. Did they just get a medium elite? They did. A goalie. Medium elite goaltender. Very interesting. Okay, let's sort by potential here. Actually, let's see if there's any gems or busts. There is busts. No gems. Let's sort by potential again. Uh, oh. All right, this is a mess. An absolute disaster. Well, I'm once again going to do a little bit of scouting here. And then I will get back to you guys with my pick. Okay, this guy is definitely low elite. A grinder. Hmm. And this goaltender is very likely low elite. Not very good stats, so I'm going to be honest. But A-plus competition. NHL ready in four years. Hmm. Will this goalie slip to the next round? You know what? This guy might slip to the next round. Because he is at 126. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this goalie, and then I need to remember this name. Butsayev. Alright, so Butsayev, I'm coming for you next round. You better still be there. Make pick. Low starter. Oof. Alright, I've been lied to. Well, let's sim to next pick. I don't even think this other guy is gonna be good. He's probably gonna be bad too, but. Let's see if I can find him again. My stomach is making all kinds of noises right now. And I have no idea why. Is this guy still here? Uh, Frolov? No. That's not who I was looking for. Where are you at? Butsayev, where are you at? He's probably gone. I think he went. You know what? I'm going to go look for him. I want to see if he was any good. Oh, he's low elite. Left wing grinder. 51 overall. All right. Yeah. Well, what round are we even in now? I don't know. There's probably not going to be any good picks. But I will do my best to... Try and find someone, and yeah, I guess we'll just try and get a steal that we are likely not going to have. I know pretty much nothing about this guy other than the fact he got zero points in nine games and eight penalty minutes with a dash two, and that he, <laughs> who knows what his potential is, but he's ready in five years. Any team would love to have this guy in his room though, so that's good. He's a defenseman. He may, he may have elite edges, severely doubt it. I'm going to draft him anyway, and he ends up being a medium seventh defenseman with no abilities. Yeah, it do be like that. Oh, this guy, he's, he's not very highly, in fact, he's at 904, but he had a strength of competition A+, plus and had a 904, 283, and 11 wins. What, how much do we even know about this guy? He's likely a hybrid... All right, so ready in five years would mesh well in any. It's not. He's gonna be bad, but I'm gonna take him anyway. Yeah, low backup, no chance. So this was a very front-heavy draft. Again, absolutely no shot that this guy has the ability, and he's probably gonna be no good. But uh, I'm gonna take him anyway. Here you go, another goaltender to add to the system. Medium backup and no ability. So that does it for this draft. Let's sim the entire draft now. Complete. Yeah, there we go. So we got two very, very solid players from that draft, though. And I am going to sim to the resign phase, where we are likely going to end because I would like to get your guys' input. So if we go to the resign phase here, we do have some players that need to resign, like Sergachev, who wants an extension. Bertuzzi does not. He's down to 86 overall. He dropped. Are you kidding me? And he wants 8 million for a year? Holy crap. We might have to just rely on free agency and let Pert walk. 
But Sergachev, he wants back. I want him back. And he's probably going to take a pretty good deal. I'm going to offer him $5 million for three years. And let's see what he says to that. Robert Thomas, I want him back as well. And he's not asking for a whole lot either. I'm going to offer him 4.6 for six years and just get those two out of the way. So let's advance a day. Yep, got him. Uh, oh, all right. So Sergachev wants a little bit more at least. So let's offer him a little bit more. I'll give him 5.275. Sure. Bertuzzi it like wants a crazy amount. Bouchard is at 83 overall. He's actually getting pretty solid. Uh, I kind of want to bring this guy back too. So let's try to get him at 4.55 maybe. Yeah, there we go. And Roslovic. Let's see if we can bring him back pretty cheap. We can. I'll get him for 2.5. Three years. And I want to make sure that our goalies are all good too. Limblom there. So our goalies are fine for now. Teal still high elite. 65 overall now. And he is... Like we could maybe play him in the AHL this year if we really wanted to. But yeah, that is definitely optional. So goalies are fine for the time being. If we go to... The skaters again. I, you know what? Let's advance a day. It was an easy decision. Got him. Got him. Got all those guys. So now there's Limblom McLeod, who I would also like to bring back, ideally. He wants 1.5. That is an easy sign. Yes, please. How much does Limblom want? He wants 1.8. That is an easy sign. 1.65 will try. Sure. So now the real question is, I guess I could bring this guy back. Yeah, he's only 23. Right defenseman, 79 overall. Yeah, let's bring this guy back for sure. And just get him for the exact deal that he wants. There you go. Malgan. So the, the thing I want you guys to weigh in on the most is I'm probably going to re-sign a lot of those guys as well, like the AHL guys. Like, do we sign the the new the newbies? The in-the-system, newly drafted players. They should be. Actually, no, why don't I just do this? Let's just go to the top and sort by potential, shall we? Boom. So we have Zibanejad, 76 overall. We have Kavanov, 70 overall, which we probably will not be signing. But uh, we also have, was it Granlin? Was this the guy? It is. Yeah, he's got the X Factors. We're not going to sign him for sure. He's 62 overall. He can wait. But should we sign Zibanejad is the real question. He's already 76, which is good. And if we go to the main roster, what is Boss at now? Is he going to grow more at all? Oh, he's at 79. So he'll definitely be in the NHL next year. Um, what do our defense look like? Defensemen. If we go to the top, we have... Yeah, we have like solid defensemen. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're good on defense still, even though I got rid of Klingberg. But to be fair, he did give us a lot of cap space, which could be beneficial for free agency. Uh, Malgan, do you want a one-way? Oh, he wants two. Yes. All right, sign him. And... Smith, offer you a contract. Yes, please. There you go. Ryan Reeves, is he going to want a two-way? Yes, he is. Perfect. Frederick, same deal. He wants a one-way, but he doesn't want a lot. So let's sign him for 1.1. Okay, let's just sim one more day. Got him. Looks like we're probably going to get everyone. Yeah, so no problems there. So now the real question is, guys, do we sign Zibanejad now or do we leave him? Boss is definitely going to be in the NHL. And you know what? Hmm. I guess I could sign Zibanejad later. I want you guys to see who's in free agency because I, I don't want to do that, you know, at a later date. I, like that would be a short video pretty much. Just signing Zibanejad or not and then going to free agency. So uh, we can sign these guys later. We don't really have to worry. But I am going to let Burt walk, I believe. He's 86 overall. We're going to have to give him a lot of money. I mean, he does have decent trade value potentially, but we could just sign him back in free agency if we had to. So on that note, I'm going to sim to free agency. Yeah, let's let's do it. Sim to free agency. We're going to see everyone who's available. Okay. Yeah, sure. Contract limit warning. Okay. Well, anyway, sign free agent. So we currently have $12 million of cap space and we have Brock Besser here. Yeah, that's a very solid player. He has two abilities, and he does he fit our team at all? I don't even know where to check for that again. I'm already losing it. He fits on offensive line one, apparently. Oh, no, that's where we scouted him. He fits on all penalty-killing lines. Great. Um, Bertuzzi's here at 86. 
Bergeron, 90 overall, wants the same as Bertuzzi, but he's also much older. But look at all those X-Factors and abilities. Yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. Pacioretty's got two abilities, and he would fit on line two of our coach. Um, no scheme fit at all for Bergeron. Is our coach just, like, absolute poo? Should I get rid of our coach? We got Tarasenko here as well. Henestroza up to 83. So, yeah, we got some some decent players here. Let me actually sort by overall so you guys can see everyone. And let me know who you guys think we should go after. Perron wants not a lot, but, yeah, I don't think... We, we kind of need, like, a good, good player here. So, it does look like we should go after someone like Besser, most likely. But that's... uh Oh, but he's restricted. Yeah. So, if, even if we wanted to... Wait, no, expiry status? Oh, that'd be for this one, though. So, Besser... ye. That might be a no-go. That might be a no-go. There is other players, though. So, yeah, I want you guys to let me know. I'll check goalies as well just to have that in there. So, we have Freddie Anderson here, 88. Mackenzie Blackwood, who is 86. And, yeah, like, we could maybe sign him to trade either him or Campbell. Like, does Mackenzie Blackwood have abilities? He doesn't. No. So, neither of them do. So, that that is also an option. But, yeah, we'd have to give up picks to get Besser. And if we just sort by the unrestricted, then these are the guys we get. So let me know, guys. What do you think we should do? JT Miller is listed as a second line. He has two abilities, though. He fits our forward line four. I think we need another new coach. You know? I just do. Tarasenko Bertuzzi. We could try to get Bert back, but that is up to you guys. So that's it. That was a very eventful video. A lot going on there, but I'm looking forward to seeing... What you guys have to say about it, I'll see you soon.